Fennec encoders are used in many areas and sectors such as elevators, iron steel, medical VE robotic. There are many criteria for the selection of Fennec incremental encoders. In this video, we will give information about how to choose the right encoder. First question, what will its mechanical properties be like? Diameter of the surface where the encoder will be mounted must be specified. Fennec has a wide range of incremental encoders with different diameter surfaces. Whether the encoder will be with a coupling or directly attached to the motor shaft must be specified. Clamping flange and servo flange encoders will attach to the motor shaft with a coupling. And hollow shaft and through hollow shaft encoder will be attached to the motor shaft directly. The diameter of the encoder shaft must be specified. How many channels do you need? The encoder can have six channels in total, A, B, Z, and inverted signals. If we take a 1024 PPR product as an example. A. If you want to reach 1024 pulses in just one turn or if you want to measure speed a product with one output can be selected. A. B. If you want to determine the direction, A and B signals are used together. There is a 90 degree phase difference between the A and B signals. Direction can be determined from this phase difference. Also known as the quadrature encoder interface, the quadrature exchange between two signals helps you increase the resolution by four times. ABZ, the product with three outputs, has Z, index pulse. The Z pulse is produced one per round and used to determine the reference point. AB and AB inverted, the product with four outputs will also have 180 degrees phase different signals to A and B signals. Although these signals have more wires, they provide signals with higher resistance to noise. This type is generally preferred for long cable products. ABZ and ABZ inverted, in the six output product, the opposite of the Z pulse is also available, and the product with three outputs can be preferred for use with longer cables or in noisy environments. Input-output voltage level selection. Depending on the application, the input supply voltage and the voltage level received at the output may vary. Selection should be made according to the desired voltage levels. 5 VDC, supply voltage is plus 5 VDC and output signals will again be at TTL plus 5 VDC level. 245 VDC, supply voltage can be at the desired voltage level between plus 5 VDC plus 30 VDC. At the encoder output, an output at the level of plus 5 VDC will be reached. This output format is called TTL. 30 VDC, Supply voltage can be at the desired voltage level between plus 5 VDC plus 30 VDC. At the encoder output, an output voltage is reached at the input voltage level. For example, if you supply the encoder with 12 VDC, you will get a 12 VDC level signal at the output. Resolution Selection Fennec encoders can offer a resolution 1 to 2 million pulses. You can choose the resolution according to the requirements of your application and the reading frequency of your reader. Electrical connection. Depending on the area of application, the connection cables of connectors of Fennec encoders can be radial side or the back surface. The cable length should be selected according to the distance between the reader and the encoder in the application area. Thank you for watching. To learn more information subscribe to our channel. Fennec Encoders